today I've got something pretty cool to share with you, the Black Magic Design Micro Panel. If you're into color grading like I am and DaVinci Resolve 19, oh, it's, it's a treat. Let's go ahead and dive in to unbox this thing and I'll share my thoughts about this micro panel. First thing out of the box is a quick start guide. Don't throw it away yet because you definitely want to read it and what I noticed, it is very easy to read. It's not cluttered. It's just really well done. I'm really surprised that this quick reference guide is designed so nicely. And the star of the show, the Black Magic Design Micro Color Panel itself. The things feel solid. It's compact, lightweight, but uh, you can tell it's built to last for sure. Perfect for those who want portable solutions for the color grade on the go, I guess. And in my case, I'm just gonna simply gonna be replacing my stupid foldy stand that kind of getting loose all the time and dinks my table when the iPad slides off of it because the magnets are not strong enough to hold it in place. But when they came out with this one with the iPad stand, I was like, okay, that's that's it. I'm pulling the trigger for this one. So the micro color panel comes with three high resolution trackballs, as you can see, primary color correction and the trackball are silky smooth, giving you a precise control over lift, gamma and gain. Each trackball is surrounded by this ring, which is the master ring, adjusting the master brightness of the lift, gamma, and gain. It's super intuitive. I'm pretty sure that's going to be just a fly, a breeze, especially with that quick reference guide. On the top, you find the 12 dedicated knobs for a quick access to make adjustments of your color grading tools like color boost, shadows, midtones, details, highlights, all that good stuff. Next up, we have a 59 inch USB cable. Uh, solid quality ensures fast reliable connection to the computer or uh, iPad because all the iPads now have a Thunderbolt C. Even though it has a Bluetooth capability, it's still awesome to have that cable. The panel also features customizable keys onto the sides. I honestly don't know a lot of those features and I don't use a lot of those features, but I'm like so eager to learn. Those are shortcuts and I noticed that they have actual function key when you actually press that button and you can have a different functions for all the other rotating knobs and buttons i noticed that they have the offset button which is whenever you press that button it will give different features for other buttons which is super cool this is probably the most amount of buttons that they ever put in in the color panel now here's a fun fact i use this panel and obviously I'm doing the voiceover of this video and I use this panel to actually color grade this footage. So, and after just this project, I got used to it so fast. It's really taking one project to not even looking at the panel, making the adjustments. All you have to do is just look for your scopes and that's it. I can use this iPad remotely and as a second monitor to clean feed and to see the actual picture or I can just put scopes on it and just monitor what I'm doing. The panel is heavy enough to counterbalance the iPad. When the iPad is on it, it will not tip over even with the case. I can tell you right now that I usually take off the case if the angle is not right because with the case, the angle is gonna be just a little bit too steep for me. So, and I'm pretty tall dude when I'm actually color grading, I'm like up there. So I need to like actually see it with a bigger angle. So the one thing that I wish they could have done for this particular panel is to have an adjustable angle for the iPad. So when you put the iPad in that slot, you can actually adjust it to whatever you like. If you're sitting up higher or you're sitting up lower and you just need it to like tilt it, kind of the idea of the magical keyboard case for iPad where you actually can adjust the tilt. Nonetheless, I'm still happy with this. It works great with the case for whatever I'm using. Bluetooth connectivity is awesome. I actually it was just a breeze to connect just by holding the button on the back. Obviously followed the quick reference guide and the Bluetooth connectivity is amazing because every time I turn on DaVinci Resolve, it actually turns on that panel if I will start using it. And when DaVinci Resolve is shut off, 
the panel is conserving the battery, it just shuts, shuts off, so that's amazing. And it's backlit, so you can see exactly what each button is in the dark. Ideal for those late night grading sessions because, I mean, let's face it, nobody's gonna be grading it in, during like daytime or so. Majority of grading is done during nighttime or in the dark rooms. And the reason for that is just to see colors much better. Not everybody has a super bright displays, right? I haven't tested the battery yet, but shuts off when it's not used. So, and it seems really good. I'm pretty sure for multiple hours of actual editing on that panel is gonna be just fine. And of course, while we definitely see the fingerprints due to the type of plastic that they use, it's a small price to pay for the functionality because its panel is just super awesome. So there you have it, folks, the Blackmagic Design Micro Panel and the portable precision grade tool that takes your color grading to the next level. I sounded kind of uh, <laughs> fake over here, but uh, it is awesome. If you are serious about your video production, this panel is definitely worth picking up. Well, thanks for watching. If you really enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, slap subscribe button, and sucker punch that bell to get notified for next videos coming to this channel. Until next time, happy editing, guys. See ya.